In this series of videos, I've been looking at energy deals that can save you money, whether you're a heat pump customer, solar customer, or an EV customer. Well, today, we're gonna to be looking at Octopus Intelligent. Octopus Intelligent is probably the cheapest deal out there at the moment for energy. However, it is one of the deeply most misunderstood, not just by people who are on uh, Octopus Intelligent, but by people looking at Octopus Intelligent. It's also got some barriers to get onto it and some pitfalls for certain customers with maybe with batteries and API cars. So today's video, we're gonna be looking why you may be better on Octopus Intelligent or you might be better on Octopus Go. Let's cover some quick basics about Octopus Intelligent. First of all, it is a variable tariff, meaning the rates can go up or down without notice. And at the moment, they've just gone down because as we're seeing energy prices fall, Octopus Intelligence set this as a variable rate because they kind of had an idea that rates would be going down and they didn't want to trap customers into a 12 month contract at a higher rate as the rates come down. And they've lowered that rate for all customers that were on the rate and new customers joining it. In fact, for my area, the off peak rate is 7.5p now and the peak rate is 39.48p per kilowatt hour. The off peak rate runs from half 11, that's 11.30 p.m. till 5.30 a.m. and that is six hours of cheap off-peak electric. Now you could actually get more extra hours on top of six hours cheap electric but these are the set rates that you could run certain appliances on. Now we'll come back to the extra hours in a bit because that's one of the confusing parts. To obtain this deal you need to jump through some hurdles. Now first of all obviously you need to be an Octopus Energy customer which if you're not already go to evnick.com forward slash energy there's a link there where you can split a hundred pound with me if you join Octopus Intelligent or any other Octopus deal and if you want Octopus Intelligent you have to have a smart meter but Octopus can read and see the readings of. You also need a compatible charger or car. Now the cars will connect using the app API but not all cars are available and chargers again not all chargers are available. Now my personal you know preference is that you use the charger over the car for controlling the charge on Octopus Intelligent and that is because the API issues have an issue that we'll come back to in a moment. Now before I mentioned that you could get extra hours on top of the six hours that you already get from half 11 to half five and that's because Every day you plug your car in, and only the days you plug your car in, Octopus will possibly award you extra hours of electric. Now the way this works is when you plug in at 5 p.m., Octopus will look at the market and see if there's any cheaper rates of electricity that fall outside the normal cheap rate of electricity and whether it would benefit them in price and the national grid because they might have an event on. Now doing this means that they can award you these extra hours of electricity. And they do this by giving you extra hours specifically on top of the hours you've already got. So they may start charging your car at 6 p.m., which is traditionally your peak time. And they may run that 6 p.m. till 8 p.m. and then stop charging your car because that's all you needed to fill it. And you still get the half 11 till half five, but your six till eight that you've just charged your car at are also awarded at the cheap rate electricity, which at the time of recording this obviously is 7.5 p. That means you're getting six hours plus the, the, the other two hours they've given you at six till eight. And that's not just for the car, it's for the entire house, which means that you could do extra dishwashing, washing loads, if you know that there's extra hours. However, if you're a battery storage customer charging up on off-peak electric, this could actually be a problem we'll get back to. Now, if you have plugged your car in for these extra hours, please bear in mind that do not stop the charge. Octopus have deemed that a chargeable billing hour for them at the cheap rate for you, so it's not gonna cost you peak rate. So allow them to charge the car, do not stop it. It's within their terms and conditions that you have to let them charge the car outside those hours. They may never charge you between half 11 and half five because they might always be charging out of those hours and you still get that cheap rate electricity for the rates at half 11 to half five, even if the car's not plugged in and when the car's plugged in. So don't stop the charge if it charges outside those hours. Now, before I mentioned there could be problems with the car's API, and I also mentioned there could be problems for battery customers. Now to find out more about that, then click, check out this video I did here about Octopus Intelligent problems. But if Octopus Intelligent isn't for you, then maybe check out some of the deals here I've done on other Octopus deals on at the moment.